So let's take a look at what's new in Hitch2R Gear version 2. There's loads of new stuff in this version to take a look at and play with today. First of all, you'll notice that things look very different here. I actually have dark mode enabled on my machine. So that means that dark mode is enabled by default on Hitch2R Gear. Things will sort of look the same structurally, but of course the colors have all changed. And in fact, if I go into my plan here, I've just got one that I use for some testing and you'll see that it's all in dark mode as well. A little bit easier on the eyes if you're using it during a production. But of course, if your computer is set to light mode, then you'll just see the, the standard light mode version as well. Okay, I'm gonna just bounce around with a lot of good features that are in this. You'll notice now that you can actually click on any cable and it opens up this little extra menu here for, um, for making changes to that cable. So I could, for example, delete the cable, of course, which removes the cable completely. Let's say I did that by accident and I want to undo that. There is now, of course, an undo button, so I can undo and it brings back that cable as it was. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and delete that cable because I want to get rid of it. And uh, I'll draw a new cable from that input to output. And you can see here that it just automatically draws it in a strange place. It's sort of just trying to decide where it should draw it and it might not be in the best place. And that's why I added pins in the past. So if I click on the cable, I can add a pin and it will add one. And I can put that pin wherever I want it to be. Let's just say it should be there. But for some extra routing goodness, I've also added the option for a second pin, which you can add. So let's say you want to do something a little bit more custom, you can do that. Maybe there's a box in the way or a thing in the way, or you just want to do a little bit more, then you can add a second pin now. I can always jump in there and remove that pin. And I can also jump in as well and add a label to this cable. So now I can set up a label here. Maybe I just wanted to say five meters and I'll do that. So I have a five meter cable label. Lots of little changes there to cables. All right, let's take a look. What else is new? Another new option is in the settings here. We have grid sizes now. So by default, it's all been on one to one pixels, but I can choose 10 by 10 or 20 by 20. And now instead of moving an item slowly around the plan here, it actually snaps and moves around on a snapping grid. Can be handy for lining things up or if you want to move things in a certain way, then snapping grids are pretty nice to have. Here's a really cool new feature in H2R gear. If I have, let's say this ATEM Television Studio HD, and I want to add an SDI monitor to this output, in the past, I would have to go into the gear library, create or find a monitor, and then add it to the plan and then draw a cable. But now in this new version, I can click and drag, and now I'm drawing the cable and I still have my mouse um, held down and I'm clicking and dragging. And if I press the option or alt on my computer here, what you'll notice is that it creates this little ghost device and I can use that ghost device in my setup. So let's say I want the ghost device to be here. I can just keep the option or alt held down, unclick, and now I have a new item. So what it does is it creates an item with an SDI input because it knows that that was an SDI output. And I have that item here, really nice to use in my plan. And I can right click on the item and I can also replace it, delete it, duplicate it, or I can add it to my gear. So if I make some changes to this, and I really like this SDI monitor here, I can right click on it, add it to my gear, and now I can use that in other future plans as well. Let's talk about cable colors for a second. What you'll notice is that all of my cables here can be seen on my plan. You can see them quite clearly, which is nice. But perhaps if you've just made a change to this new version, and everything's in dark mode, and some of your cables were quite dark before, then it can be a bit of a problem. So if I head back out to my account here, go into settings, what you'll notice now is I have all my cables in here and I have this color selection. And instead of letting you type in any color you want, I now have sort of pre-approved colors for the use in Historic Gear. And all of these have been tested to work nicely on a light and dark screen. So it doesn't really matter what one you choose, you'll see it nicely which is a nice way to avoid the problem of creating a dark cable in dark mode or a light cable in light mode. And then the other person who wants to see your plan can't actually see that cable anymore because you've accidentally used a color that's not seeable. So I've, uh, I've decided to move things down to a select few colors that you can choose from. And these will all show up nicely. If you want more colors in here, just let me know. I can add some more shades of colors or other ones that I haven't thought about before. I can add those in the future for sure. One more thing to show you here is improvements to left to right mode. So here is a plan that's set up for left to right mode. And I've made lots of little tweaks and changes here so that labels are clearer, so that cables run the way they should. And so that items look a bit more consistent no matter how many ins and outs they have. 
So now what you can see is that everything's stacked together, everything has equal heights, and it all looks just a bit more pleasing than it did before. The uh, left to right mode has gotten some nice overhaul for things to work and look a lot better. So that's a look at what's new in version two of H2R gear. I do hope you find it useful. As always, if you have any problems or issues or thoughts or feedback, do let me know. There is a way to give me feedback here, issue or feedback, let us know and that'll come right to my inbox and I can keep a note of ideas, features, bugs, and all that good stuff. And thanks again for watching and for using H2R gear. It helps the channel, it helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. Cheers.